Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh, this is Josh. Hi. And today we're talking about the DHC-2 Beaver. The de Havilland Beaver, arguably the best bush plane ever. And that's a strong statement, but I agree with them. It comes with a lot of cool stuff. A lot of cool stuff. It, it, first of all, you have two options. You have two options. You can have your normal landing gear with wheels. Yeah. Or you can have floats. And these aren't just any floats. They're steer, steerable floats. They have rudders in them. And that's really important. All this thing has a nice size rudder. Getting in the water, especially if you have to do a little crosswind action in the water, yeah. it's, it's tough. So those steerable floats are really good. And the fact that they give it to you for free, it's not an option. And you don't even have to order it and separate, yeah. Look, look at the hardware, look at all the tube, the steel tube detail, look at this. Oh yeah, all the struts that come look with this. it. That, that's not plastic, friends, that's metal. You can build a tent with painted, that. Painted, painted metal. Now, you also have two options with the control systems too. You have uh, ready to fly. Yes, or transmitter ready with any, any link. link. It's got the receiver inside. You can get your AnyLink transmitter yep. system. Just put it on the back of your Futabo, Airtronics, JR. Now, if you have JR, you gotta buy an adapter. Right. So just keep that in mind. But the nice thing is, is you can take your favorite familiar radio and you can fly your plane with it. You so. don't have to get used yep. to some little PlayStation controller. The transmitter's thrown in there. Now, I don't think the batteries come with it. They shipped it, the batteries to us, but right. I don't believe batteries come we with it. We did lie. So. That's the only thing it does not come with. Yeah, so it's not all inclusive, but it also comes with a lot of power. You have an 850 kV motor in it. Powerful, 12.6 prop. Powerful. Powerful. And, and honestly, I didn't think it would be very powerful. But after seeing it fly and flying it, it's powerful. It has what do they get the a, name? The beaver? Because when I think of power, beaver is not the first animal that I think of. Also, there's a picture of a fish back here. I think, I think you know what? This is probably like an Alaskan scheme, I'm guessing. Okay. Yeah. Now, the neat thing is, is also, out here we have LED lights. Yes, included. lights are very cool, and on top as well. Yes, all around the plane, it's all included. They have flashing, they have a little programming board. The ones that are supposed to flash, flash. The ones that stay on solid, stay on solid. And also, the flap option is not an option because that is also included. With the servo, you don't have to put anything in it. You just plug it into your receiver, you're good to go. It comes with an iPad, too. It does not come with an iPad. Someday something's gonna come with an iPad for this I kinda game. knew. Already I had a feeling. <laughs> now, what the beavers are known for is super stability. Building dams, actually. Building dams, They yes. will uh, cut down trees with their teeth. The de Havilland beaver is known for super stability, just, just really rugged construction. It's Spartan, it's, it's hardcore, you know, made to be used as a tool. And the nice thing is, is although it has some beautiful lines to it, outside of when we fly it, it's gonna just totally represent those two. Nice. Okay. How's it handle the wind? We We're gonna find some. out. We have a lot of wind and we will find that out too. But also I'm looking forward to flying out, trying out the flaps and maybe we can make it fly backwards or something. Do you think we can't use the rudder or the uh, floats? The today. floats? Yeah, that'd be nice. Maybe in the winter. Maybe. Floats are good in the winter, folks. Too. And that's one nice thing. We're in the fall right now. When the snow starts falling, those floats are gonna be really nice to have on the plane. We did do an episode about that, didn't we? We have. The dogs peed on people. The dogs peed on and people. It wasn't pleasant. Do you wanna go out and fly? Yes. Let's go fly. All hey. right, we are on our, uh, would this be the, the north, uh, east, west runway, right? They don't carry yeah. it away. It's sad. I they have no idea where we're at. Yeah, and uh, we're going to see how this thing does off the of gravel. We're going to get her up in the air, and uh, I'd like you to fly it too. Okay. Okay? I'd love to. All right, no flaps starting off. Not yet. I get my turn first. Why? Teasing them. All right, let's go. <laughs> Woo! That's okay. the most powerful beaver I've ever seen. I, I said numerous times it's powerful. The thing climbs ballistic. But the nice thing is it's just not like rip off uncontrollable, you know, rip off your wings and uncontrollable. It flies really nice. Now, it feels honestly like the most scale plane I've ever flown in my life because you do gotta touch just a little bit of rudder to keep those turns nice and scale. But it is a little windy today too. It is. So let's go and do a couple of passes and, and really I don't see much effect to it, do you? No, it's cutting right through. Watch out for that tower there, right? And that let's lady's yard over there. And the lady's yard. She doesn't yes, like Yes, that lady does not like RC planes in her yard. Look how it slows down. That's without the flaps, too. Let's see it with the flaps. Oh, you want to do a pass with the flaps? Yeah. All right, we'll go downwind. You know, it's windy enough. I Maybe I'll actually hover this today. All right, full flaps deployed, and I did it at a high speed, nice. so. Look at uh -huh. that. <laughs> That's like vapor speed there. Look at that. Not quite flying backwards, but you still have plenty of aileron control, which is really important. Whenever you deploy flaps, if you lose your aileron control, like a lot of people have flapperons. Oh, there, there it stopped. That's not bad. But if you lose your aileron control, that's a bad thing. So we don't want that. All right, we're gonna take our flaps off. Let's go ahead and do some aerobatics. What do you say? Sure. The wind is kicking it around a little bit, but it's performing really well. Wow. <laughs> it has no problem going straight up, doesn't it? All right. It's like a rocket. 
another wing over. Actually, you know what? You can darn your hover. Look, let's try to hover it. Nice. Yeah, it hovers. <laughs> All right. How's that handle inverted? Nice. Just a just a touch of forward pressure. I thought you needed more, and you can see I kind of bopped up a little bit. You know, Davlin beavers aren't really made to fly upside down. Beavers aren't made to fly at all. Correct. So I'm really impressed that it does as good as it does. What about loops? Loops? Let's do a loop. Okay. Now, it's always good whenever you do maneuvers, put it into the wind the first time you do a maneuver. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's do a really big loop. What do you say? Okay. Give it some power. Oh, we give it power. Big old loop. Yeah. Pull the throttle back at the top. Nice. Right around. That was an enormous loop. <laughs> it's just, it's a very easy to control airplane. Let's go ahead and do a knife edge now. Okay. You darn near hover it in a knife edge. Nice. It does it. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing limiting us is uh, my ability. What do you say? You want to drop the flaps and see how it lands? Sure. Because you're coming right towards us. So. It lands like a pussy cat. Look at that. One set up. Just wants to keep flying. <laughs> That's awesome. There you go. Brother, it flies nice. good. I, think I like it, it. I think it's your turn now, though. Yeah, you I want to take it up. Yeah. Bring it over. All right. All right. Let's right go here. Right. Yep. Into right the wind. Perfect. Yeah. That's okay. awesome. All right. You want to fly it? Isn't that what we said? Yeah. Here. I'll put it into the wind for you. Oh. Okay. Half throttle is where you need basically to, to cruise around, and it's even kind of trimmed. What do you think? Woo! Watch out for that tower. I see, I see it. That's me that actually hits the towers, not Josh yeah. Scott. What do you think of it? Now it's pretty windy. It is really windy. And, and a plane that was not the De Havilland Beaver would probably be getting bounced around really good. But this yeah. is remarkably stable and there performs we really well in the air. Yeah. Even in windy air, which we have a lot in Ohio. Yeah, we do. It is pretty bad. Especially every time I get my hands on the yeah. uh, controls. Now, now with me, every plane is great. And this is by far up there. What do you think about it? Yeah, I like it. It's uh, probably a couple steps up from a trainer. Yeah, but, I'm, uh, I'm guessing it's a good solid four channel trainer, but be prepared for the uh, flight characteristics. So you got to touch just a little bit of rudder to get those nice coordinating yeah. circles. Yeah. And being that it's a scaled version of a full scale, it flies like a full scale. Yep. You got a lot of rudder authority. You got the great bush plane tendencies like the quick takeoff and, you know, the flaps and all those things you got to keep in mind when you work those out because if you, uh, you know, fly it with flaps, the, the characteristics are going to be a little bit different. Here, I'll take it for you. I got it. I got it. All right. Here we go. Oh, geez, Dad. See what happens? <laughs> See how I am? Well, it is a little bit windy and there's some crazy turbulence going around here. Well, I got to do the middle. You got to do the, the middle part. I'll do the landing part for you just because of the wind. If it was calm, you'd be doing the landing. That's fantastic. Yeah, I bounced a little bit. Well, it flies good. I like it. You like it? It's very cool. Very, very cool. Doesn't look anything like a beaver though. It has a picture of a fish on the back. Needs the big buck teeth put on there. That would be great. That would be really cool. That would be fantastic. Someone out you wouldn't there, need flaps then. Get the De Havilland beaver from Hamako, put some big old buck teeth on it. And yeah, you won't need flaps. That'll be a beautiful thing. Man, that'd Very be great. Cool. Then well, the name would make sense. We got a lot of people to thank. We do. Uh, we want to thank you guys for watching as always. Yes. Uh, we have to thank uh, Hobbyco. Yeah. For sending us all kinds of goodies. A lot of really cool goodies. And this is by far one of my favorite. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, also, we want to thank Stone Cat Productions for sponsoring this episode. Yes. And uh, make sure you guys check out the website, flighttest.com, if you haven't already. Chat it up on the forums and There's rate the articles. forums, helpful articles on there, and make sure you rate them so all the good stuff comes up to the top. Yes, yes, and I think it's time for us to put another battery through. Yes, let's get this beaver back in the air, see where it belongs. Where all right, belongs. see you next time.